Carrot Robus Robus is beside men. Carrot Robus Boy is a nutcracker man. Australopithecus africanus, the find that changed everything. Australopithecus africanus, the find that changed everything. Australopithecus gar high, making strides. Australopithecus afarensis, we love Lucy. Australopithecus afarensis, we love Lucy. Articopithecus ramidus, meat eating begins. The discovery of Ardipithecus ramidus in 1992 marked the earliest known hominid, whose teeth indicated possible meat eating. The roughly 4 million year old species, the most complete skeleton of an early hominid ever found, may have descended from Ardipithecus cadaba, an earlier species also found in Ethiopia, with teeth more suitable for hard, abrasive foods. The teeth of a Ramidus have an enamel thickness somewhere between a chimpanzee's and homo species, meaning they were most likely omnivores. Other human-like features include diamond-shaped canines and evidence of walking on two feet during a stage of human evolution when hominid bodies were adapting more and more to living in two worlds, in the trees and on the ground. Artipithecus k. Cadaval an accidental discovery. Paleoanthropologist Johannes Hale Selassie accidentally discovered a new species, Ardipithecus cannibal, when he found a piece of jaw lying on the ground in Ethiopia in 1997. Later discoveries of hand bones, arm bones, foot bones, clavicle, teeth, and a toe helped date the species to around 5 million years old. The toe indicated that a cadaver likely walked on two legs, and the teeth, useful for chewing fibrous nuts, separated this species from the similar, but much better known, Ardipithecus ramidus. Aurorintugenensis, it's all about the teeth. The second oldest hominy is Aurorintugenensis discovered in 2001 in central Kenya and dating back about 6 million years. The most human-like feature of O. Tugenensis was its small teeth with thick enamel, which they used to munch on mainly vegetarian fare excluding insects. Otherwise, O. Tugenensis was likely far more ape-like than human-like, except it walked on two legs, as evidenced by the discovery of an upper femur bone typical of a bipedal lifestyle. Paleoanthropologists still think the chimpanzee sized up. Tugenensis spent a lot of time climbing trees, lending it a novel combination of ape and human characteristics. Sathalanthropus tichidensis, now we are walking. In 2002, a team of anthropologists made a discovery they claimed would have the impact of a small nuclear bomb. That discovery was nine cranial specimens eye. Skull chunks from what might be the earliest known hominid ever discovered, Satellanthropus tichetensis, a species that may have lived in West Central Africa about seven million years ago. Some experts disagree and think yes. Tichetensis was just an ancient ape, but the team that made the find thinks they discovered the oldest species ever found belonging to the human family tree, with human like canine teeth, and for men member the hole in the skull it bring me the spinal cord, which indicates the S. Tichetensis may be the earliest known hominy that walked on two legs. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and i look forward to see you in the next video then take care bye